Hello and welcome to the first lesson of the Apache Storm course offered by Jigsaw Academy. This lesson will provide you an introduction to big data. Further, it will introduce you to the real-time big data concept. Let us understand the course prerequisites on the next screen. You are expected to have basic knowledge of computer programming before taking this course. You should also have a good knowledge of Java programming. The fundamental knowledge of Linux or any Unix-based system is also required. On the next screen, we will look at the course structure. The Apache Storm course structure is shown in the table displayed on the screen. This course will have six classes. Class 1 and 2 provide an introduction to Big Data and Apache Storm respectively. In Class 3, you will learn installation and configuration of Storm. Class 4 will cover advanced concepts. Class 5 will take you through the Storm interfaces and Class 6 will explain the Trident extension to Storm. On the next screen, we will define the course objectives. By the end of this course, you should be able to describe big data, real-time big data processing and streaming with Apache Storm. You will also be able to install and configure Storm. You will learn about the various interfaces to Storm and will be able to describe a Trident extension to Storm. With the next screen, we will start our first lesson. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain sizes of data, describe the three Vs of big data, talk about big data, use cases, and also describe Apache Hadoop and its components. In addition to this, you will be able to explain real-time big data processing and describe some tools for handling real-time big data. Let us now go ahead and understand the concept of data sizes. This table shows the various terms used for data sizes. We all know kilobyte, megabyte and gigabyte. Terabytes are approximately 1000 gigabytes and petabytes are close to 1000 terabytes. New terms, exabytes, zettabytes and yottabytes have been added to address big data sizes. When we say big data, we normally mean sizes in terms of terabytes or more. Now that you know what big data sizes are, let us look at why we need big data. Digital data has grown enormously in the last few years. This growth can be attributed to social media platforms such as Twitter and Facebook and an increase in audio and video content on YouTube and Vimeo. Millions of bytes are processed every second on the internet. All of this data needs to be stored and processed. To handle this amount of data, technology has also evolved to store, process, analyze and make logical decisions. The data as well as technology employed to utilize this data represents big data. Next, we will explore three Vs of big data. Big data is normally characterized by three Vs. The three Vs are volume, variety and velocity, not necessarily in that order. These are the main Vs. Other Vs are also considered but not as popular. Some of these are veracity, visualization and value. Veracity here refers to the truthfulness of data. Now let us explore each of these three V's in detail. The first V is volume. It represents the size of the stored digital data. Big data is in terms of terabytes, petabytes and exabytes. Data on the internet was 150 exabytes in 2011 and 670 exabytes in 2013. In 10 years, it will be more than 7 zettabytes. Storage and processing of this much data will need new technology. Next up is Variety. Variety, the second V, refers to different structures of data. Data can be structured like relational database records. The picture displayed shows a database record with name, age and amount. Data can also be unstructured like Facebook and Twitter posts. An example is a text message posted on Facebook. Data can also be semi-structured like XML data. An example is a configuration file that specifies property tags. Data variety can also be in terms of data types. Data can be simple text, images like photographs, audio like music and songs or video like movies and events. On the next screen, we will look at velocity, the third V of big data. The third and final V, velocity, refers to the speed of data creation and it has increased manifold in the last few years. There are different reasons for this. People are creating data 24 by 7 instead of 8 by 5. 
which was the case earlier. Data is generated not only in office but also at home through internet, Facebook, WhatsApp, etc. There are also sensors that create data at great speed. For example, a manufacturing plant or an oil rig has thousands of sensors that produce various measurements every second. The speed of data creation has also increased due to new sources of data creation. Apart from desktops, now we have tablets, mobiles and sensors that create data all the time. This increased speed is found in both internal data, data created within an organization, and external data, data created outside the organization like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, etc. Let us now look at some industry examples of big data. Here are some industry examples of big data. In the retail industry, big data is used extensively for affinity detection and market basket analysis. You might have seen recommendations on e-commerce sites such as people who bought this product also bought these other products. Big enterprises use big data analysis for enterprise security threat analysis so that their customer data is not stolen by criminals. Banks want to use big data analysis for loan risk minimization. Hospitals want to use this analytics for medical diagnostics. Drug manufacturers want to use it for their clinical trials. Let us look at some more industry examples of big data. Almost every industry has some use of big data. A taxi operator can use big data analytics to improve the utilization of taxis. An oil rig can use this analytics to monitor the sensor data for optimum maintenance. A power grid can use it to forecast next day's power consumption. The law enforcement department can use big data analytics to identify crime patterns and prevent crimes. Similarly, almost every industry has some use of big data. Next, let us look at Apache Hadoop, one of the popular tools for big data processing. Apache Hadoop is synonymous with Big Data Processing. It is part of the Apache Open Source Tools. It provides framework for distributed storage of large data sets and also for distributed processing of large data sets. It is run on a cluster of commodity hardware. It scales to thousands of machines and can store and process billions of records in parallel. Next, let us look at the components of Hadoop. The diagram shows the different components of Hadoop. Hadoop operates on clusters of machines, each with some processing power, CPU and data storage. Hadoop has two core components, HDFS and MapReduce. HDFS, or Hadoop Distributed File System, is a framework that stores data on multiple machines. MapReduce processes the data on multiple machines in the cluster. Hadoop distributes the processing to where the data is. This means it uses the principle of moving processing to data instead of moving data to processing. The diagram on the screen indicates how HDFS distributes the data to multiple machines and how MapReduce distributes the processing to multiple CPUs on those machines. Next, let us look at HDFS. HDFS is the storage framework of Hadoop. Each file in HDFS is stored as a block. Blocks are replicated with a default replication of three copies and a default block size of 64 megabytes. Blocks are stored across clusters of machines. Let us illustrate this with an example. Suppose you store a 240 megabyte file into HDFS. It gets divided into four blocks each of size 64 megabytes as 64 times 4 equals 240. If there are four nodes in the cluster, then each block is replicated to make three copies each to give a total of 12 blocks. These blocks then distribute it to the four nodes so that no two replicas of the same block are on the same node. The diagram on the screen shows how a 240 MB file is divided into multiple blocks and stored on four data nodes. On the next screen, let us look at MapReduce. MapReduce is the fault-tolerant distributed processing framework of Hadoop. It provides massively parallel distributed processing. It provides automatic parallelization and distribution of tasks. It is run on a cluster of commodity hardware. Moving on, let us look at the Hadoop process architecture. 
The diagram shown on the screen represents the Hadoop processes. There is normally one master node and multiple worker nodes in a Hadoop cluster. The master node runs two processes, a name node process as part of HDFS and a job tracker process as part of MapReduce. The diagram shows four worker nodes. There can be thousands of worker nodes in a cluster. Each worker node runs two processes, a data node process as part of HDFS and a task tracker process as part of MapReduce. There can be multiple mapper and reducer tasks that run on each worker node. These tasks are started by the task tracker process. On the next screen, let us compare traditional technology to big data technology. Traditional technology has a limit on scalability, whereas big data technology is massively scalable as it is horizontally scalable. That is, you can scale up by adding more machines. Traditional technology uses highly parallel processors, increasing the cost, whereas big data technology distributes the processing on commodity class machines. Traditional technology uses storage area networks to store large amount of data, whereas big data technology uses distributed storage to store huge quantities of data. In traditional technology, data is brought to a process for processing, whereas the big data technology processing is distributed by sending the process to the machine where data is present. This is called data locality. Traditional technology requires high-end machines with a high cost of processing. Big data technology uses commodity hardware, reducing the processing cost by as much as 90%. Traditional technology uses expensive mechanism to achieve fault tolerance, whereas big data technology uses built-in fault tolerance frameworks. Now, let us discuss about real-time big data. Oh,